Hello, people. It's another episode of In the Van with James. And I'm here in Surrey, British Columbia, driving around, seeing all the good people from Surrey. You know, Surrey is kind of, for the Toronto people, it's kind of like the Mississauga of Vancouver area. Uh, it's a big sprawl uh, that's really quickly beginning to have more population than the city of Vancouver. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's, uh, it's Vancouver's sort of biggest community. I, I like Surrey. I, I, grew up very close to this area and uh, uh, it's nice to drive around and the streets are, are very straight and square just kind of like Mississauga but today we are gonna build something super cool I'm gonna show you guys how to do some trow welding now what's trow welding well trow welding is where we can cut and weld a piece of acrylic uh, at the exact same time without glue without any mess or muss and we're gonna build a sign for the van so we're gonna have a sign sitting right up here let's get started I'm gonna build a little sign it's gonna be an illuminated sign so you kind of see how that's done too and uh, let's get to it Okay, so basically how I did the welding was I took my top piece of acrylic and I take the mask off. The, taking the mask off is very important or you won't get a good weld. I take my bottom piece of acrylic and I take the mask off of that. Again, if you got mask on, it's not gonna stick. So, we take our bottom piece, I put it on top, the top piece on top so that the, the unmasked sides are touching like this and they have to be very flat too. If there's a if there's a warp or anything, put some weights on the edge. Then what happens when the laser starts up? You're gonna have the bottom of your bed, your vacuum bed in your uh, Speedy 360, Speedy 400. You're gonna have that blocked off so that when you have your product on there, it's going to create a really good seal and be sucking down very, very, very hard. You're also going to have your air assist on. When that beam comes down, it's going to hit the top one, cut through the top one and the bottom one. In that very instance, it's going to create slag. It's going to create this, this liquid acrylic. And what's going to happen is the suction mixed with the air pressure is going to push down the slag, the liquid acrylic, down over the cut and create a seal. At that exact same time, capillary action or pulling through a, a small space is going to pull that liquid acrylic in through the cut and you're gonna be end up having a whole bunch of acrylic on the edge of your cut and the acrylic's gonna be pulled down the side. That way, when you pull that piece out, a piece that's cut all the way around is gonna be completely sealed. Now these ones are gonna be stuck together a little bit, but you'll just be able to just yank them off like, like that and then use them for something else later. So that's how the laser actually welds together parts as you cut them. But make sure that if you're doing a part inside a part inside a part, anything that's sealed all the way around its edge is going to stay glued together. The stuff that has loose ends, like what you see here, you'll be able to pull off. Now that we have all of our parts cut, we, and we can now get our tools and we can assemble this part. Now I've done this uh, in our showroom here because I didn't quite have enough room in the van, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that you guys can forgive me for this. So, we've put the paper side up. As you recall, I tore the mask off of the acrylic and I cut it acrylic side up. 
I'm putting mass side down because this is going to be the outside of our part. This top bit I've cut in positive so you can see this is going to be the top part of my part. So what we're going to do is we're going to fit the box together with a little bit of tape right now. Okay, now we have our box put together. It's not glued yet, but it's put together. We're gonna to be using this KMS Tools Cyanoacrylate or CA glue for gluing it together. This stuff works really, really good for gluing plastics or woods or metals or really anything together. It's my go-to glue for most things. I could have also used some methylene chloride for putting this together, but I went with, with this Insta Set glue because it's very, very fast and it's the perfect compound for this job. So I'm just pushing the glue into the corner so it fills all the gaps inside there. And then I'm going to spray some of this Insta Set which sets the glue immediately. And I'll go on to the next one. I'm holding it at a 45 degree angle so the glue falls into the crack. And I'm using a straight edge to push it in place. Then we'll just leave that sit for a little bit. Now that we've let it sit, I'm gonna just wipe out the inside just to get any excess spray off of there. Make sure all the glue has hardened in the parts. You'll notice that because I left this mask on, all the bits of glue and spray are protected from bashing the acrylic and making it terrible. So, now we can put the lights in. How about that? This lighting strip here, this lighting strip I've glued in, this is just regular old lighting strip that I get from Home Depot. This is the one that I got here. But if you're handy, you can wire yourself your own LED strip. It might be a little bit cheaper. Uh, but this was just quick. It was already done up for us. Let's test it out. I've plugged it in. There's my lighting strip all laid up inside of my box. Now, I have the cover for our lens. Now you notice this cover is a lot thinner than the acrylic that I've cut to be tro welded onto it or to be glued onto it, the tro welded parts. So you'll see, this is a lot thicker than that. That way, the A is going to stick out. A little bit of the clear is gonna stick out to make a white glow on the edge, and the red on top is gonna glow red. It's gonna be a really nice if effect. Now, we have to notice that our cord is coming out the bottom, so this is the way we're going to glue our top on. Got it? Let's give it a go. Okay, so we're ready to glue this on now. We put the glue on the back side because we know where the letters are. We don't want to put any glue in where the letters are really. Just a few spots of glue. I'm gonna coat this surface with our InstaSet so that when we set it down, we have about three set seconds to drop it into place. Ready? And it's dropped. Now I'm gonna make sure really quickly that everything lines up nice. Put some mild pressure on, nothing big. The Insta Set is going to set that CA glue immediately on contact. There we go. We have a lit up, lit up sign ready to put our tro glass in. Now you remember when we welded this tro glass together, this stuff welds so nicely. It is so solid. Um, you can try to push and push on this really hard and it's not going to come off. It is very, very much welded together. So now it's time for us to get our parts together and start gluing these tro welded parts into our lens. Ready, here we go use a little bit of glue. Because I have some InstaSet already on there, uh, and I could probably add a little bit more, 
Instaset goes away after a while, so you don't have to worry about that. Just put a couple of drops on, just to keep it in, in place. And we drop our part in mild pressure, just like that. Okay, so I've got all of my parts stuck into their pockets. I have all of the mask off. Now let's see what happens when we turn it on. Wow, look at that, all brightened up. Now you see kind of on the edge here, we have this nice clear bit that you can sort of give some depth, some, some shine to the edges. And we've got our frosted red, which we've, we've cut. Now doesn't that look great? I can't wait for it to come up on the wall there, be all lit up. Unfortunately, I've got nowhere up front to uh, plug this little plug in, but uh, don't worry, my guys will drill a hole get this plugged in and you'll see this glowing behind me on all the rest of the episodes. Listen guys, what I want you to do is I want you to comment below. It's really important so we know kind of what you guys want to hear, what you like hearing. Uh, we want to know that you liked the information so we can say hey let's make more information just like that. Uh, I also want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Why? Because then you're going to know when these videos come up. You're going to know when all the other fantastic videos come up. There's a wealth of knowledge here uh, at Trotech Laser Canada YouTube site. Be cool. Just keep lasering.